Hello everyone, today's video is about plane stress and plane strain analysis. Plane stress or plane strain is a simplification of the three dimension problems to save modeling and computational effort. These make possible to, to be test multiply designs and optimize it. For example, a rubber seal contour can be quickly simulated using 2D analysis. The geometry for this simulation is in the xy plane and the z direction is zero. Plane stress, uh, stress state in which the stresses components act along an xy plane and are zero in the z direction. And by plane strain, strain state in which the strain components act in the xy plane and are strain free in the z direction. Typical application for plane stress analysis, thin components with load in XY plane. Stress is in Z is close to zero. For example, thin sheets, films or car body parts. Plane strain is for thick or long parts, where deformation is in Z blocked. Example for dams wall or tunnel cross section. For simulation, I use PrepoMax. Here you can see any elements for plane stress and for plane strain analysis. Some special points about simulation. The displacement in Z, in Z is zero. Not use MPC in Z direction. Therefore, do not use option fixed because Z is fixed there. The normal is in positive Z, Z direction. Thickness you can change but with solid section, not shell section. Offset does, does not make sense. Point load definition is uh, similar to shell elements. Additional information or descriptions you can find in chapter 6, 6.222 and chapter 6.226 in Calculix user manual. Now to simulate, we go to PrepoMax and start new project. Here you can see model space for 3D, 2D plane stress, strain or 2D axisymmetric simulation. I choose 2D plane stress analysis. After this import surface of plastic snap fit. Here is this, it is a half model. First. Check normal of surfaces. Front face is in positive Z direction. It is okay. I mesh parts with meshing parameter 0.2 mm max element and 0.1 mm min element size. Use elements first order. Add additional parameters for shell elements with quasi structured quad and recombine algorithm blossom. Create mesh. Mesh is finished. It is CPS for elements. Next step, create material. Plastic with E modulus, 9000 megapascal. After this, create solid section. Add my parts to solid section. In solid section option, you can change thickness. To contact definition, create surface interaction. Behavior linear. And add friction to contact. After this, create contact pair. Change color for master to red. Select edges from parts.
after we knit a table for top part movement. Data points are time 0, amplitude 0, time 0 0.9 second, amplitude is 1, and time 1 second, amplitude is the same, 1. It is time for reverse deformation after snapping. Step definition, static step, tube direct, time increment is constant, 0 0.05 second, and end time is 1 second. No to boundary conditions. Fix the lower part in xy direction. And move the and, and move the top part twelve millimeter in minus y direction. with amplitude. Run simulation. Simulation is finished. Results. You can see snapping is closed. For better results visualiz visualization, uh, we can use common transformation and mirror the results in x direction. Of course, it is a half model. I forgot a symmetrical boundary conditions on the symmetrical edge. There is a small error in this case, but usually, usually you need a symmetrical boundary condition. Finally, animation of results. And it was for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.